All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Bruce Buffer. What is Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts. With respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists, this guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately is up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <clears throat> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. It's time Buffer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. a great submission grappler. I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee's knee strike there is blocked, so no damage inflicted. Just out of the range with that right hand. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. 
Oh, nice jab. I want you forward, forward. Yeah. Look at the whip action that comes from him pulling that kick. Just over three minutes to go, round one. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Effective strike there by Lee. Lands with the right hand. He loaded up there on that high kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Under two minutes now to go. That strike blocked by Buffer. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice knee to the body there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him drive his chin into the whole body with that body kick. Straight right hand now just misses. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Round two next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out. But it does excite me for the next round. Nice. I told you you couldn't keep up with you. Your pace is way too crazy. Okay? You gotta keep it up though. Alright? You got the card. Alright, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. I mean it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fights. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. The one-two punch is true. Tried to go to the body but unable to connect. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. What a body kick. Straight punch lands. Just out of range with that right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, what a punch. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. A scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All oh, collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Kick to the body by Buffer. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, single collar 
tie here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, nice. Defense there. Dig and kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about Ready? his powerful kicks, Ready? how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Good punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just missed with the left there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Buffer's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Got the single collar tie. Right hand on point. Oh, perfect head kick there. Throwing hard in the pocket. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice. That's a good right hand. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from in close. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice right hand. Well, missed on that one. to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Buffer gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Pretty good kicks there by Buffer. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh! Big knee to the body. All right, single collar tie now. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. 15 seconds. What a tricky head kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All 
right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. This round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Good punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Again, they clinch. The next with a right. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Big punch lands through the middle. Buffer's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Try to establish that jab. Buffer gets hit by that kick to the body. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. That's a big strike right there. Body kick is blocked. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing it. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice kick. And continues with the inside leg kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Pretty good right hand. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Great punch landed with so much power. Got clip with the right hand. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Single collar tie now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That kick. He took that whole kick, yep. 
Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows it talks to your toughness. Punch over the top. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. Sneaky head kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Another shot lands upstairs. Head kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice punch there. Buffer's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. That shot blocked by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. What a fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce. It's time. Oh.